Good afternoon, and welcome back to Dory's Litter. This is Wendy Hill Kennel in Ohio, and they just had a bath. Look how curly their coats are. Vanessa and Brittany just gave them a bath, and they've got like mega curls going on. So we just were trying to figure out how we were going to keep straight which ones are which. <laughs> There's no, they're not big enough for a collar really yet. So we're going to start. I'm going to try and come up with an ingenious plan. These guys are going to be four weeks old tomorrow. I can't believe how fast they've grown. All right, so this one is microchip 8222. This is the little black, this is the little black male. Yep, you're the black boy. He's got such a cute face after the girl shaved his face. You can actually see his expression. He says, I don't like this. Look at the coats. Coats are phenomenal. You have such nice coats, guys. All right, so he is at one pound, seven ounces as of today. All right, you're down here. Now, I'm gonna do this smartly. I'm gonna do this chocolate one first because we got three black and whites and two chocolates. Look at the curls. This is crazy. Like, you're crazy, you're crazy curly, aren't you? Yeah, it's crazy curly. I cannot believe how curly they are. All right, so these are 82.21 and they have such cute faces if I can get them to hold still. I can't tell. Um, I was going to look. I have to, and it's so bright. I don't know if they'll look or not. These look like they're going to be blue. Dory has blue eyes, and she does pass that gene on to a lot of her puppies. So there is a really good chance these guys are going to have blue eyes. So again, this is 2221. I'm sorry, 8221. One pound 14, nope, one pound 15 ounces right on the button. Almost two pounds. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other chocolate. This is a male. I think this was a female. Yeah, this was the female. This is the male. You're bigger. 82.23. Can I see your eyeballs? I do believe they're gonna be blue, but you know what? Don't hold me to that until they're six weeks old. They can change. So if they do change, they'll end up going hazel or green, whichever way you want to call it. Same coat, just super, super curly. All right, guys, you're going to have to get off of my scale because you're going to change my numbers. There you go. All right, so we are 2 pounds, 5.5 ounces. I knew you were a bigger boy. See how you're a bigger boy? All right, so let's do, I think, let me see, it's female. That's the boy. Let's do the boy. Where are you going, Ornery? Are you leaving me? You look like a little armadillo. Slowly walking across there. This is the black and white male. Microchip 8219. Huh. Let me see your eyes. Can't tell. I cannot tell. Could go either way. Such a pretty coat. You look like a little fuzzy hedgehog. Yeah, you're nice and fuzzy. One pound, 11.2. All right. Now it's going to get easier. I've kind of got them trapped where I could keep track of who was who. This is the uh, other little male. I'm th yep, this is a male. 82.15. Hold you up there and let me see your face. It says, I don't want you to do that. See, no, don't want to do that. And look at the curls on this one. You guys are all super curly. I love the splashes of white up their faces. It looks really cute on these guys. They have like Frankenstein's wife streak up their head. Uh, one pound, 12.2 ounces. All right. One more to go. So see, we didn't get mixed up. We were good. So this is the female. You're a chunk. You're a fat little thing. You're a fat little thing. Dory is such a good mom. 8225 is her microchip. Beautiful coat. Oh, just really super thick. I love these coats. These are going to be so nice to sit on the couch at night when you've had a bad day and just run your hands through them because this will still double in length before they go home. So they're going to have just outstanding coats. Are you disappearing behind my back? Are you disappearing? 
two pounds, 0 0.8 ounces today. All right, so that is the story on these guys. They're just doing great. Um, we haven't really started them on cottage cheese or anything like that. They're strictly just with mom. And they do have dog food available if they want to nibble. Um, I don't think they're really doing a lot. Let me stick the little one in the middle. I don't think they're really doing a lot of nibbling yet. This is up. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to stay in this, in this lineup or not. But they're all starting to get inquisitive. I watched them toddle around in the kennel with mom. And uh, you'll see major changes in these guys in the next next few weeks. Each week we do a new video. They're going to change. Uh, next week we're going to put them in the yard with their mom. So next week it will be fun because they'll get to try grass out for the first time. And uh, that's always fun to watch. And if we don't have mom out there with them, they are really apprehensive and they're really afraid. And mom makes the whole situation a lot better. It's like they feel comfortable. If mom's there, they're good. Says, I don't know. I've never been out here before. Don't know what I'm looking at. And I like to see them inquisitive like this. I, I don't like to see them just, they're at the age they're still afraid. And this is all new. I mean, they have never been out here. Never been outside. You're going to sneak too far away for me to pull you back in and uh, so it's good to see him being inquisitive you want to come look what fingers are say no not really no not really we don't play with them a lot at this age you can actually play with a puppy too much when they're little with their mom their mom needs to be their main source of stimulation uh, care she teaches them things that dogs need to know. Don't ask me what they are, but it makes a difference when they're not raised with their mom. And uh, they also pick up eating from their mother. They'll go over and eat out of the bowl with her. So at about five weeks old, we start messing with them. They'll go out and we'll take them out to play without mom. Uh, we'll put them in the grass once they're used to grass. You're leaving me. This one's going to be the inquisitive one of the bunch. Says, I just want to go see what everything is. But they're doing great, and um, there's not a whole lot of new anything to tell you with them right now. Um, tomorrow they will get their first parvo inoculation, which is a Neopar shot. We always do it on their four week birthday. And um, toenails were done today. Vanessa was trimming toenails today. And faces got shaved today, and so did a hygiene clip. I think they did a hygiene clip. Oh, yeah. Backsides are cleaned off. Um, it's so much more easy for their mother to keep them clean if you keep their backside shaved off. And that way, when they go to the potty, if they happen to sit in it, it doesn't smash in their hair. And it makes it much easier. She's going to read the scale. Much easier for mom to keep their hygiene area clean. Which, if, if you don't know or have never heard, moms, from the time they're born until they're sometimes six weeks old, clean up all their feces and urine. That way it keeps her area clean where the babies are and they don't get a lot of bacteria uh, or exposed to bacteria because of their feces and urine. It's starting to get windy out here. So mom does take care of all that with them. So, all right, well, I'm going to close for now. I hope that you've enjoyed their video. Uh, and like I said, we'll see lots of changes in the next couple weeks. So have a good week. Call me if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you later.